Hi Katie, it's uh, David Cairns here. I'm going to go through a quick uh, creation of a form just to give you a, a bit of a hands-on lesson. It's pretty easy, but uh, we'll run through one. Um, so before we do, let's find something to do. Uh, let me find a form. So here is uh, uh, apt for this time of year, uh, employee self-input. So um, this is a Word document that's uh, been sent to me to complete for my employee self-input. Let's try and produce this a form in the uh, in Katachi. So without any further ado, let's log in. Now we'll give you some login details. This is a Katachi system on K5. Uh, once you log in, you see a list of the forms that have been created. You'll see all these ones on screen because we've done those for you. You can delete them, you can copy them, you can edit them. Um, but let's create a new form, shall we? So let's click this button, create form, survey event, test or poll. We'll create a survey. Um, and we'll give it a title and we'll call it employee feedback. Okay, so you can see here you can copy an existing form if you've got one. You can create from a template if your business is a bunch of templates, or you can upload one from another system. So let's just save that in the default folder, hit the create button, and then we have access to the builder mode. So this is the builder screen. Um, it's just a matter of choosing question types. So effectively, uh, I'm going to start by creating an input question, which gives me this box here, um, your name, etc. If I hit save, it puts it on the right hand side here and I can now edit that. This little box here gives it a, a question view. So you'll see all the questions listed and that's a sort of graphical view. If I click on it, um, you see here I can now put in details, etc. So let's go and grab some of that um, Word document uh, detail, um, such as this box, etc. Uh, let's just cut and paste that, shall we? So it's just a matter of cutting and pasting. I'll just do that now. There's copy. And if I switch back to uh, my system, uh, which is here, I can just jump in this box here and I can paste in that. So immediately I've put some document uh, text in. And on the right hand side, you get this WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get view. You can save it down here. And if you want to look at it as you go along, you can preview this in the same window or a new window. We'll say new window and you'll get a bit of a view. So look, in 10 seconds, I've created the first part of the form um, and I've not spent much time on that at all. So let's go and just go and add some graphics to that because there were some graphics in the other screen. So here's how you add graphics to the system. Um, so if you go back to uh, the main menu, okay, um, you'll see all these options here. Um, what I can do is I can go to assets and I can use my asset library to upload images. So I've got a couple of images there, but when I add some more, let's upload um, some pictures from that form. So there's the table. I've taken a picture of it. Yeah, and let's also upload um, the uh, the header for it. And that was this one here. So there's the two pieces from the Word document. They're just cut and paste pictures from the Word document. So they're now added to my assets library. I can close that down, go back to my forms effectively. And here's my form at the top, employee feedback created on this date. If I click this button here, it takes me back into edit mode. Yeah, click the first question. And in here's the text where I had yeah, well, the first bit of text. Let's put a picture at the top. Just a matter of inserting it. So a little image icon here and then browse the server. This is the upload area. So let's put that in and let's give that a size of width of, say, I don't know, 100. Not make it too big. Yeah, so hit the Save button and then we can go to my other tab and just do a refresh and see how that's looking. Yeah, let's put that little icon there. Okay, let's put the next bit in, shall we? That was the... Um, little table. So if I again insert an image, go to browse server, choose the table and see, let's give that a width of about mm, 760. You'll see why in a second. It's a screen width I'm sorting. Yeah, there you go. Let's put it in. Hit save, go to another tab, hit refresh. Now when I look at this, this is the live form on the web. You can see it's too big, the picture there. So what I can do is I can make the form wider to fit it or the picture smaller. So let's just make the form wider, shall we? Settings appearance, and this is the form width. Let's make that 800 and save the changes there. See how that looks. Yep, there we go. The picture now fits. So we've now got a bit of text, picture, question. What are we missing? Let's go back to the main word form and have a look, shall we? So on the word form, there's some boxes here we need to put in free form boxes. Let's cut this, cut and paste this text, shall we? And I shall go back to um, the, the builder. That's the view. And we're back in the builder. Now, what we can do here is effectively just do saves as we, as we go along. Go to my questions 
and uh, we want to down here add a question type bottom left let's add a freeform box so text box yeah that's here save question to end and it'll put it on the right hand side down the bottom again if you want to look at a different view you've got this view here there's my two questions I've put in I can just click on that uh, and let's put in the actual um, text for the question I cut and paste that from before let's force a reply for this so it has to be filled in hit save changes and then go to the uh, refresh on the browser see what it's done yep let's put a box down there we've got two more to go and we've almost finished this form so let's go and do that let's grab the text from the word document and oops and copy and let's paste that into Katachi. So back to here, let's add a question. Again, the same one we're going to do is lots of question types here. Text box, save it to the end of the form. Let's add it there. Click to edit it. Put the question in in terms of the text. Save it. Three questions. Quick view. Preview. There you go. Second one in. And lastly, last question. So uh, let's just take that. This is in Word. Uh, let's just grab that in Word. There's the last question. And then go to Katachi. And edit and add question. And again, the same text box there. Save to end. There it is there. And put the question in. Let's make that compulsory as well. Some other options here, but you can see them. Save changes. Okay, we built our form. That took about, what, three minutes? There, done. So now that form can be sent out via email, embedded in a website, embedded in a SharePoint, and you've now got an employee feedback system. Pretty simple, huh? Um, some other options, let's just wander through what we've got here. So um, if I go to my list of forms, you can look at the results that have come in. So there's one that's got some results, Pulse Survey. If I click on this report icon, um, you'll see all, all the uh, questions. And under reports here, you can look at all these report types. Let's look at the summary report. And yeah, there's some graphs it produces for you. So it does all that for you effectively. Uh, and you can tailor that if you wish. Um, you can even look through the individual entries. So you can go through and just look through and see what people have entered every time they've completed the survey, which is quite nice. And if you've got a full report, you can set up all sorts of pie graphs and it does that for you. Unlike Excel, it auto produces all this for you. So that's reports. You've seen questions. Um, settings, change the appearance. So this is where you change your logos and your backgrounds and your footers. Pretty easy to work out. Um, and the completion, this is what you do when the form is finished. So you can return it to a web URL. Uh, you can do nothing. Um, you can send a copy of the email to somebody if you wish. So other settings are uh, deployment. Here we go. So this is interesting. So um, under deployment, we can set um, how you send it out. So from a mail note, from an instant message on a web page, and this is the text to embed it. It gets a bit techy here, so you might want to put this in a web server. So there's some, it gives you the code to put in. But most people send from a mailing list. So you create a list of people, and then it sends out a mail, dear, first name, dear, last name, whatever. Please click, and you can put the words in. And that mail merge sends out a mail all formatted to all your people in one go. Um, other settings that we can set here, let's put access. So this is nice, short form URL. So um, you can type in here anything such as emp feedback, meaning employee feedback. If I hit save changes, it means when you go to the browser, people don't have to remember all this stuff here. They can just type in the word emp feedback. That could have been any word. It takes you to, uh, well, I didn't complete that correctly, did I? It takes you to the... Um, the form directly. So uh, what else do I need to do? Uh, show you uh, the reports, settings, deploy. I've done that bit already. My forms mentioned there's lots of types here. Um, pretty much that's you good to go. I don't want to dwell on this. It gets a bit boring, but um, if you want to, um, any help or anything, just give us a call and we'll, um, we'll help you out.